Greetings, Hazmat here, Citizen Crusader. All right, as we all know, Mole made a a steampunk arm for his new look, and it's uh, it's very it's very uh, uh, brass and and copper and t massive tubes, and he's got the big uh, drill bit on it and the little the the range finder and all this stuff and it's, it's very cool he used uh, two liter bottles to make it he, he really spent nothing on it uh, he went to uh, the dollar store in, in uh, the UK the dollar store is called Poundland and uh, I said well I'm gonna mock that arm you know it, it was really cool so I decided to mock it and put him down for being creative and cool and uh, I got to make it and I thought well you know I think I'll just make I started enjoying it, so I decided to make the arm like an attack arm, because his was very, the one he made was very utility. It was a large drill bit and, and uh, uh, massive thick tubes to carry heavy pressure and stuff. So I thought, well, I'll make a, an arm that's uh, more infiltrator, more assassin infiltrator, uh, armored scout-like. And the the and, and when I'm done with the video I'm making to, to make fun of Mole, Lord Mole invading the USA, I'll send him the arm. So I started working on it. Now what I'll show what I'm about to show you is the arm almost completed. Uh, what I won't show you is the left hand because that's where the true mockery comes in. But let's take a look at the arm, shall we? Alright. Now here is the arm. Um, it lights up like his does. Whoops. And uh, it's, I'm going to add some some tubing and stuff to it. But for the most part, this is this is pretty much what it looks. It's got the armored glove, and and uh, we've got the targeting reticle. And if we if we grab this right here to fire, it it went a long way. It went like 35 feet or more. And I've got more of the the little missiles, and I'm going to mount them so that he has extras uh, so you can you can put the missiles on there and then they they fire oh that one's gone you're never gonna find that one anyway so yeah that's how that works and uh, it's uh, that's the cybernetic pump or the, the steampunk mole arm almost completed I've still got to do some things and cover some gaps and stuff and I'm gonna add some rivets to it to make it a little more uh, stable on the body and keep it in keep it in place a little better because it is a little a little mobile. But that's it right there. And uh, yeah, pretty groovy. And, I'm, and and I was gonna put some kind of shotgun, like a steampunk shotgun or something, under here. But I got to talking to Mole, and he likes you know Lord Mole, the character Lord Mole. Uh, is more about like a blade or something because he he wants to be up close when he when he when he kills uh, savagely like that because he likes it so you know we're I'm trying to come up with some kind of wicked cool blade that'll go on the bottom under here somewhere you know so he can be all you know come here flesh pretty little flesh and and get into it but that's that's the attack arm that's the uh, that's the steampunk attack arm with the pressure gauge, and like I said, more more tubes, stuff like that. But for the most part, that's the foundation of it. That's how it's mostly going to look. And uh, that's it. All right. Uh, be strong and uh, stay safe. Hazmat out.